Hi guys, Kurt Provost here, your guide to all things new skin. Have you ever had a lump just beneath the surface that you've tried to squeeze and no matter how hard you squeezed or what angle you got at it from or what needle you tried to pick it out with, it just wouldn't budge and you ended up just irritating and making the skin around it really red and angry or bloody. I've done that many times. That is actually called a melia, that thing that is stuck beneath the skin. It's often a flake of skin that got trapped or a keratin filled cyst beneath the skin. And it's very difficult to get it out. So I've had them from time to time. I never really thought much about them until I bumped into a friend who's been with New Skin for a very, very long time. And she was telling me about how she had gotten rid of her melia using a product from New Skin called the Blemish Treatment. It's this tiny little product. This is traditionally used to help clear up acne. So it's a spot treatment. And what you do is you take that off and you apply it to a, a pimple that is just beginning to show up and you want to speed up and help it along its pathway to getting out of you as fast as possible. It does an excellent job at that. Didn't realize that it actually works on Melia as well. And so she told me this story that she'd gotten rid of the Melia on her face and her dermatologist didn't believe her. She, the dermatologist didn't believe that this product was able to do that. And so what they did is they had a competition. They found a willing patient who had Melia all over their face. This patient was willing to try absolutely anything to get rid of it because they'd already tried everything that they could. And so what the dermatologist did is, all right, on one side of your face, use only this on the Melia and on the other side of your face, use my treatment. The dermatologist conventional treatment is they will either make a slight incision and dig it out if it is close to the surface. However, most often milia is not that close to the surface or if there's a lot of them together, a large cluster, or if it's in delicate skin like underneath the eyes, you can't make an incision. So they would use a retinoid cream that will over time, hopefully uh, dissolve it or remove it. So that was the competition. Guess what happened? After a month of use, the patient came back in to check it out and they observed that on one side of her face, it was completely clear of melia. And on the other side, it looked basically the same. Guess which side it was? You guessed right. It was the side that she used the blemish treatment on. So what I did after I heard this story is I thought, well, I'll give it a go because I actually had one right here. You can see the image right here and I used it for two weeks. I would put it on ah, very sporadically because my memory's not all that great. I'd do it once to a maximum of three times per day. And by the end of two weeks, it just popped out. <laughs> it was amazing and all clear, all gone. And since then I have had Melia in other spots like around here. Uh, spots of congestion for me, just pop this on and generally it's around the two week mark that it will pop out and disappear without any cuts, any damaging of the skin. This is a fantastic little product to keep around whenever you have a breakout. Now I have also heard since sharing my story and my little ex doing the little experiment on my face that using revealing gel in connection with the blemish treatment will really help speed up this process because that has the mild AHAs that will have that uh, exfoliating effect on the skin at the same time as, as the blemish treatment doing its deeper work. What makes the blemish treatment so effective is that it combines acne medicine with traditional herbs like Job's Tears that's been used in Asia for centuries to help reduce redness. There's things like yarrow and chamomile to help reduce uh, irritation and soothe the skin. There's burdock to help clear the complexion. And of course, there is 2% salicylic acid that's really good at getting in there and clearing out the melia. So I've been asked what sort of skin types can you use this on? And ultimately you can use it on all skin types because it is a spot treatment. Yes, it will dry out the area that you're using. That's the salicylic acid working there. That's what you want to have happen. However, you're not smearing it all over your face. So wherever you have a blemish, pop this on it. Wherever you have melia, 
pop this on it as many times as you can throughout the day. That's it for the show today, guys. My name is Kurt Provost. I'm your guide to all things new skin. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, because I'm creating a video every single day, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, guys.